All right, everybody, welcome back. Today, I wanna to do a video on the armor that I have on this Mitsubishi Montero. Now, they do make skid plates for this and sliders and bumpers, but I haven't bought anything for this. I've made it all myself. And the reason is, there's two, there's two reasons for that. One, it's not that hard to make some of this stuff. And the other reason is uh, I did a lot more cost effective than if you bought everything. And so the first one thing I'm gonna point out is my bumper. And I already did a video on this bumper, so I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail, but this is my front protection. And honestly, it doesn't get a whole lot of use. This is for animal strikes and uh, more collisions than anything else because the approach angle is so good on this car. You just don't run into your bumper on all that much. Because the approach angle is so good, actually, I left the front skid plate as stock. Um, I've painted it and I've bumped it into some things. You can see there's some crashes on it, but I find that I very rarely hit this. I also like that it has this vent so it gets the oil cooler and the power steering cooler and transmission cooler and all that stuff. And actually, I don't know if I have a power steering cooler, but all the coolers back there get ventilation. And so I haven't changed this out because I just haven't needed to. There might be a day, um, especially in the sand dunes, where I smash it and need to get another one. And in that case, I will upgrade it. Um, but I like that this one is, uh, is still working for me because it's a complicated shape and I would have a hard time making this. Um, the rest of the skid plates I have made. And the first thing I'll mention is you can see right here, looking straight down, there's a good lip right here. And I don't love this. I'm about to change it and I'm about to make a kick up so that this goes a little smooth, more smoothly as I'm going over rocks as I drag from one to the other. I have hit this point blank and it stops your vehicle really abruptly. But this is a really good vantage point to show you guys. This is a half inch thick piece of T6061 aluminum. Uh, and so this is a very hefty skid plate. Um, it mounts up to the factory spots and the normal one that goes under here does have a bend in it, but I just hard mounted it flat because it's very easy to have a flat skid plate. All you gotta do is cut it out. And then I did some fancy work with a mill and you can see I set those bolts in. So that keeps them out of the way as I go across rocks. It doesn't shear off this head or get hung up on that, um, which is really good. And this is held up pretty well. This is the skid plate I hit the most um, in a previous life. It was a target, and so you can see that there's bullet holes in it, and so I just count that as custom um, venting and drainage. And it barely, barely, barely clears the front diff as it sits right now. And it mounts back here in the same thing. So this is taking a pretty good beating, and this has worked out really well for me. Back here, you see there's my transmission skid plate, and the same story back here. This is T6061 aluminum, and it mounts up right there. You can see it clears the first catalytic converter, and then I actually have it going out here past the transfer case. And that just happened to be the size that I got, but it, man, it protects everything really well. I use this a lot less, but I got a couple drags on it and I'm really thankful that I have it, especially if I ever get beached going over an obstacle. So those are my skid plates. And honestly, you don't have to use half inch thick aluminum. You could do this with eight, eighth inch steel um, or something even a little more substantial if you just painted it and you could put it up here uh, and that'd be a pretty good skid plate. Other than that, um, there's a couple companies that make good ones. Um, Adventure Driven Design makes them here in the US and they're top notch as well. So that's what I have for the from the very front past the transfer case, I have those skid plates. I am thinking about getting a gas tank skid plate, which I'd buy from probably Boo Bash plates, um, but I haven't done that yet. Moving around to the side, these are my sliders. I get quite a few questions about these sliders. Um, they are custom made. Uh, because this doesn't have a frame, you can't weld them to the frame or bolt them to the frame. And so I've done something kind of interesting with this, but it's worked out super well. I got this idea from another guy who was in the Mitsubishi world before me. But if you can look up here, you can see this is where the factory um, side steps go. And there's three spots where they mount and there's two bolts per side. And so what I did is I took this quarter inch um, L bracket. So it's, it's pretty sturdy. And I use that to position it right where um, it, it mounts up, you know, from the factory. And then I ran this, I think this is 3 16 or it might be quarter inch as well, flat bar or flat tube all the way across. And it sits on the pinch weld. Now, if you're not familiar with unibody cars, the pinch weld is the strongest part of the vehicle under here. And so as impacts come up and they hit this bar, all of that is being translated into the bar and then distributed across the length of this slider into the chassis in the most protected way possible. So this is the strongest part of the car. So I've, I've dropped tons of weight, you know, the whole weight of the vehicle onto this and there's not a bit of damage to the actual car. You can see it's got scratches and whatever, um, but it, it holds up really, really well. So I like that it also makes for a nice jacking point, but this is a good amount of protection 
um, for your rockers and that kind of thing. I've really enjoyed these. I don't know if I'd go wheeling without a pair of sliders. And you can see these kickouts right here. I just did this for a little extra protection as I tip the car. You obviously want this. And you can see I've used it. Um, the thing with sliders is you kind of, you wouldn't hit some things if you didn't have sliders, but you're grateful that you have them in case you do hit them, if that makes any sense. So I've got some dents there and I got some dents on the other side as well, but that's the majority, um, of my side armor is these guys. These make for a nice step. And then one of the other things I did is as you open the door, you can see these lights come on underneath and that's how they are from the factory. So, um, those work as rock crawling lights for me, but they're also nice for underglow when you're in a parking lot and you want to see the car. I'll mention this. I mentioned this in my wheel and tire video. This isn't a piece of armor per se, but I intentionally specced out the tires and wheels so that they would be the furthest point sitting off the side of the vehicle. That's for protection. As the vehicle moves back and forth, I want the wheel and tire to be the first thing to hit rocks to be sandwiched in between. And the sliders do a pretty good job of that too. They sit proud of the door. And so they protect me there. The last thing I'll mention is the rear bumper. And the rear bumper is um, kind of armor and it's mostly just minimal. So this is the tube I have in the very back. And it goes across like this. And I'll do a video on this once I actually feel like I finished it. But you can see it offers a little bit of protection with a hitch. And then I've got these recovery points. And the reason I did this is because I ended up ripping out the hitch on my car doing a snow recovery. So it basically uh, tore the whole thing out and I had to go back in and rebuild it. And so this is kind of protection. Mostly I've done a lot of removal here because the departure angle isn't very good. But that offers me a little bit of protection as I'm wheeling if I get... Um, really low. The one thing that I really wish I could protect back here is this AC unit. I have clipped that on a rock um, and that's not very fun. So there you go, guys. There's a video on the armor that I have on my 2003 Mitsubishi Montero. Like I said, all of it is stuff that I've made myself. Um, and some of it was kind of fancy, but most of it is pretty simple, especially if you have a buddy who has a shop and knows what he's doing. And so I think this is great because uh, a lot of guys want to get out and explore, but they're really nervous about breaking their rig. And so I would encourage you guys, get some armor, throw it on, and get wheeling. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next one.